y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to The Basement, where we are returning to season one, episode 10 of Lucifer. And Lucifer has had a moment of... What the fuckery? <laughs> it's the only thing I can call it. Where somebody who he has, just by their outward appearance, deemed mortal enemy, Mr. Preacher Man, find that he actually connected on some level, and then that man was killed teach him a lesson essentially yes yes so now lucifer is struggling with all the emotions because he's feeling he's feeling hardcore so i'm excited to get to it and i'm so glad that you are here with me as well so while we get under the big cozy blanket i'm going to get my water yes i'm drinking water now because i'm gonna watch something later that may kill my liver we shall see you have to watch hit subscribe so you know when that video drops and, and you'll see what that's all about. And if we're watching, you start hearing piano strains of Disney songs. My oldest has chosen now to practice playing piano when they haven't played in years. I encourage that. I will encourage it though. Okay, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Full episode watch along is available on Patreon. All the things, all the bells, all the whistles. Thanks for being with me and let's get to it. I love this song and never tear us apart. Oh my gosh. I will stop in my tracks if never, never tear us apart ever comes on. Oh, well, there's only one way to pick the perfect strawberry. It's there now. Shape and color. But they're just like us. Sneaky little devils hiding tasty secrets inside. But there's no way of finding out what deliciousness is underneath without giving it a little taste. Mm. You like that? Oh, God! <laughs> you have to bring him up now. I mean, we were having a moment. You cannot tell me that he has not been with a woman who has been screams for God often in his presence in certain circumstances. Maybe <laughs> the future should scream. No! <laughs> Based on the bloodshot eyes and the closed throat, looks like this guy was poisoned. In the store? In the store. I know who this is. This is Chef Javier. Made the most exquisite Mexican cuisine I've ever had. And now, oh, this is about a crime against good taste, detective. Well, someone definitely needs to be punished for this. <laughs> Emmy says that the poisoning happened about 90 minutes before he fell, which puts him squarely at the restaurant. Okay, I was going to say, hopefully not at the restaurant. Little Miss Strawberry there is going to get poisoned. We need to interview all of his employees and do a full sweep for toxins. And find out whether he wrote down his recipes. Here's the thing, though. It's not just the recipe. You got to know how to execute the recipe as well. You, you think one of us killed Pops? Pops? That's what we all call them. We were like a family here. Well, hold on. So everyone here saw him as a father figure. Oh, this is what Lucifer needs right now. My dear detective, this is patricide. It's a tale as old as time. You know, Oedipus, the Menendez brothers, Voldemort. Yes? I know after what happened to Father Frank, you're mad at, um... Fathers. God. My dad. <laughs> Lucifer, not everything's about your parents. Hey, detective. Yeah. Your sister's here to see you. Why? I don't, I don't have a sister, so it can't, oh no. Is it mom? Guess who's back? And who is this handsome devil? Exactly. Oh, mom, this is Lucifer, Lucifer, mom. As I live and breathe, the vampire queen. Yeah. Is that Tracy Lord? I just wanted to get home. Mom, I mean here, at my job. Dad, you know she was there. You weren't answering your phone, so uh, I called someone at the department. I can be very persuasive. Oh, you clever little minx. It's a woman of refined taste as well. I mean, what happened to you? <laughs> Family dinner. That's right, it's been ages. Eat, we never have. And Lucifer, you have to come. Wait, no, not Tracy Lord. Rebecca De Mornay? Hey, hmm? crime scene? Oh, yes, of course. Well, there's lots happening in this episode. Even the dishwasher could have done it. Oh, so many people, so many reasons to kill Pops. Wait, they don't have any reasons to kill Pops. 
<laughs> Nobody's given him a motive? He was such a nice man. Sad when you made a mistake. That's right. Then he got upset and he threw things. He threw things a lot. Stereotypical chef behavior. No matter what you gave him, it wasn't enough. It wasn't. And I gave him a lot. Oh! <gasps> he was like a father to me. He was like a father to me. He was like a father to me. He cared about his people. He was like a father to you. Yes, we've heard that one before. He was my father. <laughs> okay. This is Javier's son, Junior. <laughs> I don't work here anymore. I've, I've been away a while. I came over as soon as I got the call. Wayward son, are you? Yeah, you could say that. You and your father had a strained relationship. It's complicated. You know, I feel like. Oh. Rebecca De Mornay, there we go. Come now, the prodigal son returns to his overbearing father. What could you possibly desire? Yeah. To have one more meal with my dad. One more meal? Well, isn't that a coincidence? Boy returns home and conveniently his pops drops the next day. <sighs> Lucky bastard. If Junior isn't inheriting the restaurant, then who is? I felt threatened about Junior coming back that they wouldn't be but I'm not sure that inheriting. This is appropriate. There's a thought. Right. I know I made it halfway. Oh, he's there. Boss. I can recommend you to no, someone else. I like you. You help Lucifer, and I need you to help me. I need to figure out how to be more normal. Interesting why I was wondering what word she was going to choose. Tell me what to do. Well, that's not how this works. Do I need to sleep with you, too? <laughs> what? Uh, nope. No, <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> if we want to feel more connected to our environment, sometimes it's helpful if we actively embrace it and those around you. That still sounds like sex. Okay, I meant uh, engage in caring and meaningful relationships. Making friends. Forget it. Who would Maze make friends This was a mistake. Mazakeen. Wait, if you... <laughs> what just happened? You lost control! What's the gun for, Mom? You mean that gun you stole for me, that gun? Now you're asking. Now he's asking. The way I see it, I'm doing you a favor. Another man spends so much time with my wife, I sure wouldn't like it. Oh, oh. You, you, you're telling him flat out you're going to try to shoot Lucifer? Why? If I told you, I promise you wouldn't believe me. Remember this. You think about taking another shot at me? Don't miss. Well, he kind of didn't miss the first time. The sous chef, you're Javier's number two? I mean, I guess I was. And you cooked his last meal, is that right? You know when people had their hands on that plate? Well, this is your kitchen, Anne. When Pops isn't here, you run the show. And from what I understand, you're not someone to be messed with. So you really think someone's going to go behind your back? Lucifer, don't go eating what's in the kitchen yet. Well, are any of these psychos set to inherit the restaurant like you are? Was she? spoke to his estate attorney. Okay, thank you. Or the reasons to kill your father figure. Greed, truly the ugliest. If you didn't wish your dear old pops ill, what did you wish? To surpass him. Ah, so the student becomes the master, eh? The poison used to kill Javier was mercury. Mercury? I cracked open a few thermometers over brunch, did you? There was something else in his system, too. Can I see the inside of your arms? Track marks. Ah, so there was heroin as well. If it's heroin, you should talk to... I'm sorry. Don't worry. She's poisoned too. <laughs> Come on. Just let it all out. Oh no, she's going to. Well, I've never had that effect. Wow, that is red. That was red. <laughs> Why does this look wrong? This looks. My brain's short circuiting. This looks wrong. <laughs> Hey, did you find something? A Naomi Austin. 
She worked as a hostess here last year until she was fired. She has two arrests for heroin possession over the last year alone. So one of the cooks said that she showed up two days ago and was yelling at Javier and Anne, so... I'll see if her P.O. has an address. My mom is having this family dinner. And you could really use a buffer. Yeah. Sure. I think I would have brought Lucifer to be the buffer for mom because Lucifer and mom will put all the attention on each other. There's still no answer. Is she also dead? OJ, spoons, oil. Looks like the junkies. Wow, just touch all the evidence. Touch all potential evidence. We don't have a warrant. We don't have time for warrants, detective. Look, Junior was here. He and Naomi must be close. Yeah, well, they probably wow. chased the dragon together after Junior killed his dad and then sat and looked at the twinkly lights. Why have they still got their Christmas tree up? <laughs> We're not supposed to be in here. Oh, come on. So, let's just search the place fast. Ooh. Skirting procedure. Oh, I, can, can you hear that? But they can't oh, hear. God. And dear old dad strikes again. This is weird. Well, Ooh. that painting just became far more valuable. Hello, Naomi. Who the hell are you? Heroin <laughs> inspector. I'm a she seems very... Calm, walking in and just seeing two strange people in her place. I went to see Pops a few days ago because Junior called me to tell me he was coming back home. So you were dating Junior? We were, a year ago, before he left. But Pops never approved. Well, I can't see why they're not fans of your whole Kurt and Courtney vibe. I tried to tell him that Junior got clean on his travels, but it didn't matter. I got questions. I wasn't even at breakfast. Junior wanted to see his dad alone. I went to see my sponsor. I've been having a tough time of it lately. Mm. Do you know where he is? I haven't talked to him since this morning. Right, okay. She wants to be with this man. She has a drug problem. Junior had a drug problem. Dr Junior goes, gets clean. He comes back in town. She still wants to be with him, yet she's still using and thinks that's going to be a good idea. So she calls her sponsor, but she's still got the stuff. Okay. 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 No. No, you did the right thing. I'm on my way. They find Junior. This is an emergency. So I'm up with Mom. Wait, how's he getting back? To wherever he is going? You've got to stop doing that! <laughs> Anna says we're going to be in a movie. So who called? So oh. the babysitter called and said that we let her off early. We were just on our way to our first audition. Always not a thrill. You didn't think to ask me about that? What is she auditioning for? Isn't she the cutest little lounge singer you've ever seen? She looks ridiculous. How can you exploit your family for your next acting job? You can't push Trixie into this the way that you pushed me. You can't walk in here. Like I and own the place? The place you're living in? Rent free. Who asked me to stay here? Where is she? Where is she? Trixie! She's gone. Well, she couldn't have gotten far. Her step is like, what, one and a half feet? Maybe two if she's running? Take a breath, Chloe. She's a smart girl. Where would she go? I don't know. She left and she ordered. A ride from my Uber account? She has a phone? She has a phone? And she went to Lux. Did she go to Lux? An Uber driver took a child to Lux. <laughs> and didn't question it. Is this for here? How are you supposed to be? I'm Trixie, his friend. Hate to break it to you, but he's not here. That's okay. I'll wait. I don't think Maze talks to any children at all. She's again. <laughs> What's that for, Maze? So, what do 
do you want with Lucifer? <laughs> he tears me up. I hate it when people fight over me. <laughs> They're fighting over what they want me to be when I grow up. What do you want to be? I want to be the first president of Mars. Or a zookeeper. Zookeeper. I used to be a zookeeper. That's so cool. Is this a Shrine Temple? No! <laughs> no, it is now! Sure. <laughs> Trixie! <laughs> What's your name? Mazikeen. But you can call me Maze. Thank you, Maze. I didn't say you could. <laughs> How does it feel? <gasps> yeah, to finally be free. Oh yeah, so Lucifer's just been hanging out then? I didn't kill my dad, man. Oh, come on. Why return to dispose of the murder weapon then? No, I... Came for this. Ah, 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 ah. My dad gave me this knife. That's all I have left from him. Why would I be relieved? Because he was judgmental and cruel, and he tried to force you into being someone you're not. And he's gone now, so you can finally be your own man. Hey, hey, hey. Dan, what a pleasant surprise. And you brought dessert, so. Because he owes chocolate cake to Trixie for a year, right? Something smells amazing. Mm. Yeah, Mom, but you buy this nice home-cooked meal. Oh, there's no takeout tonight. Lucifer has provided the meal. Where's that? He and his friend have been here for a while. His friend? Oh, mate. Just in time. Now you remember Junior. Junior's with him. Just wait until you taste his mole. It is to die for. He has not had enough time to make mole. Lucifer! Oh, get back. Oh. <laughs> He's innocent now. Come on, detective. If you're not satisfied with his answers, you can always arrest him afterwards. <laughs> Stopped eating meat while backpacking through India. This is my vegetarian take on Oaxacan mole. Oh, that's right. Let's catch you up, shall we? Um, I brought Junior here tonight because Detective Decker believes that he killed his father. You do? What are you doing? But I believe he was after something far more foolish. Reconciliation. That's right. <laughs> I didn't kill my dad. <laughs> Come on, detective, you said yourself, you may want to kill your mother, but you don't oh, so do you it. you kill me? Just because I put makeup on your daughter? No, because she thinks you're a child and forced her to grow up too quickly. You are way out of line. <laughs> and there he goes, <laughs> leaping to the defense again. You know, perhaps you two are closer to getting back together than I thought. You are? Bing! No. I just had the one kiss. So you're kissing now? Maybe that explains why you won't have sex with me. So many beans! <laughs> You're juggling both these handsome gentlemen. I'm not juggling. Well, trust me, honey. You better do something, because you're not getting any younger. However, what would I know? Because I'm just a child. If you don't like it, why don't you stop acting like one? <laughs> <laughs> Reminds him of home. <laughs> you guys sound just like me and my dad. Every time I cook the meal or... I looked in the mirror and there he was, staring back at me. That's a tad bit creepy. <laughs> because he's a part of me, man. In the end, he made me the man I am. Yeah. I came back home so I could tell him that I was clean. And I wanted to be a chef again. And this meal was what I was going to make for him to prove it. Well, it looks very good. And it's very cold now. I didn't kill my dad. Well, we are going to need you to come downtown and make a statement. Please, let me. I wanted one reason to stick up for you. Just one. Let's go, pal. Well, I have suddenly lost my appetite. You cannot let that go to waste. He didn't escape his father because he turned into him. I mean, that doesn't apply to me at all. <sighs> so I cleaned up the food, I mean. Why is she working in such darkness? Like, I work in the dark, but this is redonkulous. So if Junior didn't kill his dad, why use heroin? 
to frame him, maybe? The only person with motive got poisoned herself. Unless she knew exactly how much to give herself. That's a lot of work. Yeah, this is Detective Decker. I'm calling about a patient, Ann Martin. An hour ago. She left. Where'd she go? Guess who checked out against orders? Why does this feel like a deja vu moment? I have been here watching this exact scene. I have been here watching this exact scene. That's a brilliant hiding place. No wonder the police couldn't find it earlier. Oh, I freaked out. You seem genuinely upset. Like you didn't want Javier to die. Just be sick. You're always killing your loved ones Obviously, and then... poison wasn't meant for him. You meant to kill Junior, didn't you? He'd die a grisly death and we'd assume he simply got a bad fix. Oh, that is very clever. Except you didn't realize that Junior changed while he was away. He stopped eating meat. <gasps> oh. That ungrateful kid did not deserve this place. He was given everything and he threw it all away. And why are they having the discussion in the dark? <laughs> then he had a chance of redemption until you ruined it. Well, now we got some light. <gasps> Son of all of you. Lucifer, if you have any ideas. Well, Lucifer, are you fireproof? This is his idea? Hi. Happy now? <gasps> the devil gets burned by fire. Could this be any more ironic? Anne was arrested a few blocks away, so she'll be eating prison slop for a long time to come. Ah, her own personal hell, indeed. Waka, waka, waka. Can't believe it's gone. He was gonna leave you the restaurant all along. If you even want to. I think I do. And maybe I could rebuild it. Maybe you met somebody who will invest in your future. I'm surprised you came back. I made a friend today. <laughs> who? An eight-year-old girl who wandered into the bar. <laughs> That's a start. <laughs> Perhaps the next one can be of legal drinking age. So, are you busy tonight? Oh! What's up, partner? You were right. This from Morningstar is insane and dangerous. And he deserves everything he gets. But... But I can't let you kill him. So what are you going to arrest him on, Dan? And I don't think he's going to put the cuffs on himself. It's too bad. I mean, I thought we had something really special. And he's arresting him on the crime of intent with no proof until now. Wow, Dan, you're getting the stuffing knocked out of you for a guy in cuffs. Oh, that doesn't look like a... Go to sleep. There you go. Don't worry. I'll answer for you. What's the answer? Detective, this is unexpected. Yes. You said the door's always open and I'm walking through it. How much wine has she had? A couple of bottles? Great. Wow. <laughs> yes, has something happened? I'm guessing by the looks of it with That's Dan. a little excessive. Mm. And he ended it with me tonight, with a text. I can't believe that I would let myself care for him again. I mean, why? So I get hurt? 
Now, Malcolm, you know the next day when she sees him all beat up, it's all gonna be revealed. But you don't do that. You just take what you want. Since the beginning of time. That's nice. <laughs> Because you know it's not right. What's happening? It would seem that I'm saying no. But you've been trying to get me into bed since day one. Why are you saying no? Because it's not you. <sighs> For some reason, I can't. Because he has a conscience now. What am I doing? Why am I here drunk throwing myself at you? This is so sad. Come here. We don't all turn into our parents, detective. I don't think I've ever been the son that he wants me to be. I, uh... But you can tell her. Oh, God. <laughs> you want to share your thoughts? She's not listening, really, kind of, sort of, but she's there. Spill it, brother. So, yeah, Malcolm. Beat the crap out of Dan. You keep him alive, but you break up with Chloe for him. But the next day they can talk and say, hey, that's not what went down. So why did you leave him alive? But could still Dan's gun shoot Lucifer. Now Dan has to take the fall. Maybe. Dan can't live. That's the whole thing. Dan knows too much. He knows too much. He's got to go. So this plan is wackadoo. Yeah, Malcolm, why are you flapping your gums? This plan is wackadoo. Because Dan's not going to... You can only keep secrets. Here's the thing about secrets, y'all. They don't stay secret for long. They will come out at some point, some way been watching genealogy shows secrets are coming out hundreds of years later wow it's amazing Trixie adorable <laughs> hello feeding feed giving the kid whiskey <laughs> but what does Maze know because I think Trixie is the first child she has ever interacted with I didn't think it would t throw me seeing in Tom Ellison just a t-shirt or Lucifer just a t-shirt <laughs> Put on a green t-shirt with a sombrero. I mean. <laughs> Wackadoo. Wackadoo. So I'm enjoying this a lot. But I still have the question of why now? Lucifer for five years. Well, okay, for millennia was being Lucifer in hell. He finally went, screw this. I'm going topside. I'm gonna stay here was there for five years so why now is he having all of these conflicting thoughts or feelings or or um that's what i'm looking for not resolution or resolute but tightening down what he wants what he doesn't want like it was i'm on vacation to know nope i'm leaving hell for good why now why after five years now is the day do we get those answers? Don't tell me. But that's what I'm curious about. The mo like motivation. What is his motivation? What is his motivation? But we're coming up on the end of season one. So what are we building towards? We have to have a showdown with Malcolm at some point in time. Is that the finale? more <laughs> and that's why we continue to watch because they leave us with these good questions we want answers to yeah yeah so here we go episode 10 episode 10 thank you so much for being with me here on this adventure i appreciate you all oh so very much so please don't be strangers hit subscribe if you haven't already take care of yourselves this is your reminder to stand this is also a reminder to stretch Go eat something and then you're going to come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time. <laughs>